Ukraine's defense ministry has claimed that the country's forces have killed at least 800 Russian soldiers. It said that 30 Russian tanks, 7 aircrafts and 6 helicopters have also been destroyed. Earlier, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Russian sabotage groups have entered the country's capital, Kiev. He also said that 137 Ukrainians were killed on the first day of fighting. Delhi Chief Minister Arvin Kejriwal yesterday said that the Delhi Disaster Management Authority DDMA has withdrawn all COVID-19 restrictions as the situation has improved. The move has been taken in view of hardships faced by the people due to the loss of jobs, he added. Schools will function fully offline from 1st April and fine for not wearing masks have been reduced to Rs 500, Kejriwal further said. India, Thailand and the Philippines will be the biggest losers among Asian economies as the Russia-Ukraine war drives up prices of oil and other commodities, as per a Nomura report. Every 10% rise in crude oil prices will shave off around 0.2 percentage points from GDP growth in India and add around 0.4 percentage points to inflation, the report said. The Supreme Court has asked the center to clarify if cryptocurrencies are illegal or not. You have to make your stand clear, the court bench said. The court was hearing a case related to the 20,000 crore gain Bitcoin scam. In 2018, Amit Bhardwaj and his brother Vivek were accused of running gain Bitcoin, a Ponzi scheme promising huge returns on Bitcoin investments. The CBSE Term 2 practical examinations for classes 10 and 12 will begin from March 2nd, an official notification stated. Schools have been asked to conclude the practical exams 10 days before the date of the last theory examinations of the respective classes. To avoid crowding, schools may consider splitting the batch of students in subgroups of 10 students each, CBSE's notice added. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that the Russian sabotage groups have entered Kiev, the Ukrainian capital, urging residents to be vigilant and observe curfew rules, Zelensky added. This comes after Russia announced military operations in Ukraine, with the Ukrainian government saying that Russia has declared war on record. Ex-heavyweight boxing champion and cave mayor Vitaly Klitschko said that he'd take up arms with his brother and fellow Hall of Famer Vladimir Kletschiko to defend Ukraine amid war with Russia. I believe in Ukraine, I believe in my country, and I believe in my people, Vitaly Kletschiko said. He added that civilians were ready to defend Kyiv as soldiers. <laughs> <laughs>